With the Thanksgiving holiday approaching, parents have been cooking up all kinds of questions about why everyone gets sleepy after that big Thanksgiving meal. Well, thankfully, I have some Thanksgiving healthy eating tips that I can share with you this week. First, let's start with that sleepiness factor. Turkey does contain a nutrient building block called an amino acid named tryptophan that by itself can get into our bodies, go up to the brain and make us sleepy. But turkey also contains many other nutrient building blocks or amino acids that counteract the effect of tryptophan. So we're not going to blame Tom Turkey here for why we get sleepy after Thanksgiving dinner. What does cause us to get sleepy? All the sugar containing and starchy containing foods that we eat at that big meal, such as breads, potatoes, stuffing, pumpkin pie, and the desserts. When that gets into our stomach, we have to work on digesting it and it slows us down and makes us sleepy. In addition, all that food draws blood flow into the digestive system, takes it away from the brain and again makes us kind of sleepy. So what can we do to prevent getting sleepy at Thanksgiving? I've got a couple suggestions. First, we could eat small amounts throughout the day, but that's easier said than done. We could also try to cut back on the amount of sugar containing and starchy foods we eat, but that's also easier said than done. So a great idea is to take an after dinner family walk outside, which gets the digestive juices flowing and certainly is going to keep everyone awake. And while we're on the subject of making sure everybody eats healthy, if you're preparing the family turkey, make sure you cook that turkey for the right amount of time based on the weight of the turkey, also at the right temperature. And if you're thawing a turkey, well, cook it as soon as it's thawed out. Don't leave it out on the counter because that's when bacteria and germs start to frolic and multiply, make it a setup for food poisoning. In addition, make sure you wash your hands before, during, and after cooking a Thanksgiving meal or any meal. And don't forget, never put cooked foods on a plate that hasn't been washed that previously contained raw meats or poultry, or that's another setup for indigestion. Finally, if you're going over to a friend's house, keep the hot foods hot and the cold foods cold because bacteria tend to multiply at room temperature and you don't want to spoil the evening because everyone's getting sick on food that's been sitting out for a while. So that hopefully, tips like this will be easy ones to gobble up when it comes to keeping everybody eating healthy at Thanksgiving. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from Vermont Children's Hospital of Fletcher Allen, wishing everybody the happiest of Thanksgivings and reminding you to always be first with your kids. What's cooking when it comes to you and your family having a healthy Thanksgiving meal? Stay tuned, I can help. First with Kids is coming up next.